Through most of 2020 and a lot of the first part of 2021, we've not been able to meet together face to face, but church hasn't stopped. We had to make rapid adjustments to move when we closed our churches and ensure that the right support was available for our community and find new ways to serve our schools. But church didn't stop. If anything, church did more to reach far more people in the last year than we have done previously. Through all of 2020, church has been very much alive and at work, online, in our village and wider world. This video is just a taster of some of the ways we've continued to be the church. Some of the ways that we've committed to love God, to serve people and grow community. Some of the ways that we've continued to become the people that God call us to be. This is church. Part one, loving God. Jesus calls us to love God with all our heart and soul and mind and strength. So through our many different services, prayer, resources, courses, home groups and more, we work together to help one another to grow in the knowledge and love of God. In March 2020, St Peter's services moved online when we first moved online there were a few teasing problems but then Jack Dunn showed Barry how to use OBS. Thank you Jack! We introduced Testimony Salt Lots into the services and Roving Zoom reporter Ira Hale interviewed a wide range of people from a church. People became video experts and recorded the reading to send in for the online services. When we finally got back into church, we couldn't sing, so the music group recorded some of our favourite songs for us. We, we also started a regular midweek spiritual communion on Zoom. We introduced our church with the Stations of the Cross and Good Fr on Good Friday, 2020. Then Easter bonnets, which produced some amazing designs. Then kites for Pentecost. Then harvest art with a thank you to our farmers theme. And finally, a dining nativity trail which concluded with an amazing heavenly host of angels together with a huge nativity scene in the church. We also work together to provide resources to help people to pray. We produce daily prayer sheets through the first lockdown and again in the seasons of Advent and in Lent. And we stream night prayer on weekday evenings. In total, the night prayer team has done nearly 300 services since the first lockdown. We have to rethink our ministry with our families and young people too. Simply Celebrate went online which meant that between them our parents recorded hundreds and hundreds of videos through the year. St Peter's players transitioned from stage to screen with the confidence of seasoned professionals and our monthly drama sketches were able to continue. We produce rackets for children for the key vegetable services. Our Connect Youth Group met twice a month online over the lockdowns and discovered many different games that you can play on Zoom. Following the success of the Nativity Trail, we ran an Easter Trail in the churchyard with over 70 young people taking part throughout the day. We videoed assemblies for the prime school and the New Cross Passion team produced a video assembly for every day of the week in the last lockdown. Our faith courses and home groups moved online. Moving online made our courses easier to access. Altogether, our Big Question Evening Foundations course, Bite Sized Alpha course, the Prayer course, Digging Deep course, and the Lent study groups had over 70 people attending. 
Some Whom groups moved to Zoom, but some groups, for various reasons, struggled. Some groups met in gardens, some went on walks, and we managed a few home group socials over the year. Many of us are looking forward to meeting in person soon. All our love and God ministry is only possible because of the great team of volunteers that work together to help our church family to grow in the knowledge and love of God. Thank you to everyone for the part you played. Part 2. Serving people. Jesus calls us to love our neighbours as ourselves. So we work together to reach out and share God's love with our village and the wider world praying for our community, giving generously and looking to serve in practical ways. Throughout the last year we have continued to pray for our community and wider world. Our intercessions team recorded their prayers for church, the world, our nation and our community. These are streamed as part of our Sunday service. Saturday morning prayer moved to Zoom when we had focused prayer for different groups in our community. The thoughts of, uh, and prayers from these services were written down and delivered to our schools. Key workers, local businesses and more to let them know we were praying for them. We changed some of our life courses to run online and we developed some new ones. The Living Well course difference course, building lasting relationships course, the bereavement journey course, and the finding a job you love course. Between them these courses had over 100 people from around their areas attending. As well as our services and courses We've been able to continue some community projects. The Meet and Eat Lunch Club for older folk couldn't meet, but the leadership team kept in touch with people and put together goodie bags for Christmas and Easter, making sure people on their own got a gift. The food bank has about a 40% increase in demand last year and has fed over 900 people locally. On top of this, by sending our excess food donations to Coventry Food Bank, we provided food for over 3,000 people in Coventry. People in our area have been generous, and we have had a 90% increase in donated food, meaning that the team has processed 29 tonnes of food throughout the year. The gift project has also continued to operate, providing recycled furniture, well, white goods, decorating, DIY clothes and household items to people in crisis. We had a lottery grant for the gift project, which allowed us to employ a project coordinators. Our foundation governors continued to serve the primary school, taking key roles in supporting the staff and pupils and helping our school to continue to be a great place for young people to learn and grow. Our World Mission mis Ministry makes links with other charities through prayer, giving the practical support. As a church, we give away 10% of the money given to us. In 2020, we gave 2000 200 to Iber Girls School in South Sudan and 1,100 each to the Eco work Workshop from Endless Salvation Army. On top of all this, our local vaccine appeal has raised over 1,000 to help provide vaccines in poorer countries. All now serving people, ministries, and dependent on a large number of people from across the parishes that give us give their time, talents, energy and money to make them possible. Thank you for all you do and give to enable us to serve people with these ministries. 
part three growing growing community community Jesus grows us to love one another so we work together to deepen our friendships and try to build a community where relationships are real and supportive and where all are welcomed we want our hospitality to overflow to the wider community making new friendships and strengthening and strengthening old ones there are many different ways that we have continued to connect people and maintain and develop our fellowship over this last year the Outlook team continued to pro produce, print and deliver the Village magazines. During the first lockdown, it was just one sheet containing essential information, local COVID support. We returned to the full issue as we came out of lockdown last summer and the team have continued to make the magazine for free to every home in the parish. Our shower tea drop-in, coffee morning, meeting point went online during lockdown. We managed to meet on Zoom for conversation, coffee and cake, most weeks when in lockdown. Last autumn, we were able to meet in church for a brief spell between lockdowns. It's great to be meeting again now. We look forward to when we can stop serving wraps, biscuits and enjoy Sally's birthday. We continue to run community events in the last year. We ran to events entirely online. Two safari suppers. A charity games evening. A Christmas quiz. A Christmas lockdown taskmaster challenge. And a giant murder mystery evening. <laughs> We also ran some face-to-face -face events in a COVID-secure way. Free Edge Hill Fitness Games. A reduced home dance challenge. <laughs> some slightly damp village carol singing on 18th December. And then more carols the next day, when it was dry, with a fabulous brass band as we sang together. For the carols at the wedding, Hundreds of people from across the area took part in these events over the year and through them we have raised over £4,000 for local charities, mainly in the playgroup and the Friends of Primary School. Again, all of these resources, events and activities were only possible because of a team of people that helped to plan, promote and organise them. Thank you to the wide range of people that made them happen, took part and donated to our chosen charities. Whilst all the above has been happening, work has continued on the building project. We've got an agreement for our outline proposals and commissioned several surveys needed for the next steps. We hope to put an expression of interest in which the National Lottery in the next few weeks. There is more that has been going on than we have for this short video, but we hope this gives you a flavour of what has been happening in this last year. In the turmoil that we have all been going through, it's helpful to look back and remember the many good things that God has done among us and look forward to the things he is calling us to do as we emerge from the pandemic. Thank you to everyone for all that you've contributed into the many dimensions of the life of our church in the last year and a huge thank you to God for being with us through all of it. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you for being with us through this last year. Thank you for being there and all the highs and lows, all the joys and sorrows, all the happiness. Thank you for all the creative energy and talent you have given our church and for the ways you have inspired us to love you 
serve people and grow community. Help us to keep following your son Jesus. Help, help us to keep praying, learning, serving and growing so that we might become the people you call us to be. Amen. Amen.